There are uh, numerous American sports leagues, specifically for gay athletes. Uh, just last month, a federal judge ruled those leagues can limit the number of heterosexual players on each team. This after three softball players say they were disqualified from the 2008 Gay World Series because they were bisexual and therefore exceeded the team limit of two non-gay players per roster. With that, we welcome in Brandon Wagner, who is the commissioner of the 12-team Gay Flag Football League of Washington, D.C. And Brandon, some of your players are not gay. By and large, if you could speak for them, what would you say their experience is like? You know, I think their, their experience is like everybody else's. They're out there to play football, and that's what our whole goal is at the D.C. Gay Flag Football League. We're just there to play football, to enjoy ourselves. We happen to be gay mostly. Um, some people have, you know, happen to be straight. It's kind of the reverse. As, uh, as in life, most people are straight. On our league, most people are gay, but we don't even notice it. That's the way life should be. Well, you talk about the reverse of what it is like in, in ma more mainstream sports. How often is that specific gay slur, the F word, used in your league's games? Uh, I would say almost never. Um, I would definitely not tolerate that. Um, what James Harrison did was, uh, he wasn't thinking of us when he was doing that. He was not thinking of the D.C. Gay Flag Football League. He wasn't putting a f my face on that slur. Um, but people out there, you know, you're playing with gays, and you, I mean, I do not tolerate that word. Why do you think me. homophobia holds so strongly in male team sports? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Um, it just is, I guess the best answer is to say that's the way it always has been. The military has always been that way as well, but they're coming around as well. Um, sports, will, sports will follow. I agree with the, the commenter earlier that said, you know, soon we'll have a major professional athlete come out who's gay. And it's not going to be easy for that person. It's really not. Um, you can think back to other equality situations. And those players did not have it easy either, but it's, it's necessary. It's going to happen soon. What can be done from a management or legislative level in terms of sports, not the government, but sports, to help move that day ahead? You know, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that anything can be done in terms of sports, in terms of Congress or something like that, but I think uh, um, the commissioners of the league should do what they think is appropriate. I'm a commissioner of a league in D.C., and I don't want someone telling me what to do with my league, so I'm not going to tell them what to do, but I think the, the commenter earlier who said that, you know, I think it was Sid, who said that uh, money is not an issue to them, and so finding them is really not going to solve the problem. You really got to take the game away. Brandon Wagner. We appreciate your time here on Outside the Lines. Good luck with the league, and hopefully we'll talk to you again soon.